How's it going guys? It's Nolan from Tacticon Armament and today I'm coming at you a little disappointed. I'm disappointed in your actions. I'm just joking. I am disappointed in myself. I had a little skit all made up and done. A little Bob Ross themed painting video on how to paint your rifle. You know, sometimes it's good to uh, throw mother nature in there. You know, stripes are pretty good, but sometimes you just need to throw some uh, extra pattern in. Unfortunately, the video turned out to be too uh, blown out due to overexposure. So I'm gonna can that for now. Maybe I'll release it later. I'll make another one or something like that. But in the meantime, the show must go on. And so I'm coming at you today and we're gonna talk about two lovely products that have been requested by you guys. The plate carrier and the battle belt. So let's dive in. Let's talk about the features on these bad boys, what they're for and maybe why you'd want them. So let's start off by talking about the plate carrier. This is the Tacticon Battle Vest Light. Now I do have it set up pretty light here. This one is an FTE. We have OD green as well as black. Um, let's talk about some of the features on this bad boy and uh, maybe why you'd want to get one. So in the namesake, a plate carrier. What does a plate carrier do? And what is the purpose of a plate carrier? So a plate carrier is in its namesake. It's going to carry plates. Plates being armor plates, which we sell. Um, whether that's going to be your steel core or your ceramic composite variants. Now, why do you want to carry plates on your body? Let's just go off on that branch really fast. Why would you want body armor or to carry plates on your system? Body armor is better to have than not to have in a firefight. And I think every single one of us can agree upon that. Granted, I've never been in a firefight. But I can tell you, I think I'd rather have some armor plates protecting my vitals from bullets than to not. So that is why. That's why you would want to have armor in your system, in your kit. So that is not all a plate carrier can do. As you see here, I have a triple mag placard set up. It's just a three mag holder for my rifle magazines. Now, I'll break into the features of the carrier in just one second, but you can put mags on here, you can have uh, kangaroo pouches to hold two rifle mags in the front on each. You can have pistol mags. You could have a bag set up right here, a dump pouch set up. You can put pistol mags on the side and you can attach that all through the laser cut molly on this plate carrier. It's got a full laser cut molly all the way around and it's the perfect mounting platform for all your Gucci bags and accessories, whether that's your IFAC, your radio pouches, or your frag grenades, if you have some. Do you have some? If you got some, let me know. I want some. So let's go over the top and I'll break down into the nitty gritty of what's actually going on with this play carrier. So the Battle Vest Lite, what does this bad boy offer? What is it made of? What can you do with it? And what will fit on it? So this is made of a 500D laminated nylon. And these bad boys, I can't remember the name of the material. I'll put it in right down here. But it's very sturdy and it's lasted a very long time for me. Um, I'm gonna continue to test this until this thing falls off my body, but I have worn this time and time again, dragging it through the dirt and just overall abusing it. I think this will hold up for you as well. That being said, we have full laser cut molly on the cummerbund. The cummerbund is the part that actually wraps around your body and holds it to you. Now, it is a single attachment in the front here. So when you actually undo this bad boy, it has two Velcro patches right here that cover up and hold it to you. But there is something nice about it. Instead of just being a rigid system, it is actually a flexible system. So if we go to the back here and open it up, we lift up the back Velcro, we can see that it has a nice elastic portion right here. So that will give you your breathability and your flexibility while allowing you to maintain a tighter, a little bit more rigid kind of uh, situation to your body. So that way you can really tighten it down in the front and when you breathe or when you move, it's gonna give you that little bit of flex and these can go out quite a bit. So 
that's gonna make it more comfortable to wear over a longer period of time and just overall make it a more fun experience rather than wearing something that's just like a cinched up rope around your body. So that is the cummerbund right here. On both sides, we have the actual plate bag itself where I have our AR600 plates with the trauma bag in there, just like that. And then on the front, as I showed you a second ago, I just have a triple mag blackguard right now. I am just running this. I'm running more of a slick setup, not a whole lot of gear on it. I'm just playing around with this. I like to switch it up. But that being said, you tear this up. And we have a full Velcro loop right here. With that being that, you can actually hook your Swift clips on here. There is a vertical molly portion right here where your Swift clips will hook in and then you can put on whatever placard you deem fit. The battle belt. Now, what is the purpose of a battle belt and what does it do? These are very important questions and I'm here to answer them for you. So this is our battle belt. A lot of people ask what size is it? It's 2.5 inches, two and a half inches. That is the width of this bad boy. We're all answered up and ready to go now. What is the purpose of a battle belt and why do you want one? So when you have gear and you go out to the range and you shoot often or at least occasionally, right? It is a hassle to take your belt on and off and weave all of the things that you might want to wear. When you start breaking into shooting and you start getting maybe a little bit more serious into the, um, the drills and shooting practices, you're gonna need to start carrying more things on your body for it. Now, that being said, you can 100% practice with just your belt and a pair of jeans. I'm not saying you need a bunch of stuff to start shooting, I'm not saying that, but this is a quality of life improvement. It's convenience and it just makes going out to the range a little bit better. Fair? Fair. So this bad boy has full laser cut molly all the way around it. It is made of a, up of a two belt system, which means it's got an inner belt and an outer belt attached via Velcro. The outer belt has all the molly and the inner belt has this nice sticky material meant to stick to your pants. So I mentioned convenience just a second ago. What do I mean by convenience? Well, like I said, once you start breaking more into shooting, you're gonna start carrying more things on your body. That being mag pouches, dump pouches, holsters, maybe you're working with chem lights or other things that you're working with on your kit. Now, sometimes you don't wanna wear your plate carrier and a battle belt is where most people go to when they go out to the range. It's convenient. You can throw this on over all your clothes and you're just ready to go. It holds it all nice and tight and it really makes for that convenient, stable platform. Consistency is the king and this will give it to you. Let's go down and I'll show you what the unique features are of this bad boy and what it's offering you. All right, the battle belt. Now we are up close and personal and we can really see with what we're working with. Now, as I said before, we've got full laser cut molly circling this entire thing. We have a Cobra style buckle up in the front for very secure and tight retention. When this bad boy clips in, it's not going anywhere. Now we have that double belt system as I was talking earlier, connected via Velcro. This gives you about close to wanna say 10 inches of play. I could be wrong on that. I will put on the bottom the size differences and how much play it will actually give you. But between the left and the right, it gives you plenty to find the perfect sizing for your body. You tighten that up, get it all ready to go, cinch it on over your clothes, and this bad boy shouldn't go anywhere. It allows you to carry all of your gear, as I said before, on a nice, secure platform. Nice, comfortable, not too big, not too small, just right, as Goldilocks once said. All right, guys, so I've showed you what these things have to offer. Now maybe let's talk about why for a second. So I mentioned before, armor is better to have than not to have if you're in a firefight, but it's also a great carrying platform if you don't wanna go the belt route. Now, 
you'll see many professionals, uh, they will wear both like a duty belt as well as a plate carrier or a battle belt, whichever one you want to call it. You'll see police officers as well as military personnel wearing both at the same time. They carry a lot of gear. They need to carry gear because they need a lot of things for specific situations. Now, granted, us as civilians, we don't need as much as they do, but I'm never one to shy away from the face of being prepared. That's why I carry a gun. So, you can not only fit all of your gear, your armor plates, your magazines, you can put backpacks on these things, you can put IFAX, radios, anything your heart can possibly desire and more, and keep it on a stable platform connected to your body. I think that is overall one of the best benefits to this system that a lot of people don't really consider. Um, instead of having things strewn about in a bag or things like that, you can keep it all kind of locked in on one thing. This might be a big wake up call for some people. Armor can be heavy. And even if your plates are only six pounds, five pounds, whatever it may be, you gotta think, that's two of those. So, you know, maybe 10, 12 pounds on your body, including your ammo, including your pouches, that starts to weigh, weigh you down after a while. People don't think about that. It's, it's, a, it's a training issue. And I think it's something everybody should train with to understand their level of physical fitness in the realm of possible serious situation. Because when the armor goes on outside of training, that means something bad is going down. Do you need one or the other? Do you need the armor? Do you need the belt? Well, in my opinion, yes. Yes, you do need them. But in a realistic view, no, you don't need them. I believe you should want them and I believe you should have them. I believe these are both part of the Second Amendment that shouldn't be ignored and that should be practiced frequently. I think if you should be able to own a firearm, you should also be able to own something to defend your own life and to carry your equipment with. But should you want it and should you get it? Should you feel bad for spending money on getting these things? Absolutely not. These things are a stepping stone in your training game if you train with them. Now, it's one thing to buy these, it's another to train with them, right? You shouldn't just buy gear and let it sit in your closet until you are ready to bug out. You should get this stuff, you should train with it, you should learn to be proficient with it, and you should learn the proper setups. I have switched out my belt setup or my carrier setup more times than I can even count figuring things out for my own personal body. Whether it's how I like the cummerbund to fit, or where I want to put different pouches, or how can I fit more ammunition on this, or where should I put my IFAC for easiest uh, application? Where can I get to it the fastest? Is my holster better in this position? Is it better in this position? So training with your gear, whether it's actually going out to the range, or just training at home, doing dry fire practice, it's gonna teach you a lot. I think these are two very important pieces of gear that everyone should own, especially if they're into the 2A community and they like shooting firearms. I think it's something that can be easily overlooked by people. They think, oh, I've got my guns, why do I need armor or a battle belt? Because it takes your training to the next level. It allows you to do more things than you were previously capable of, as well as, well, you get a nerd out about more things and what's more fun than that? So, looking cool is half the battle and this looks pretty sweet and you look even sweeter when you have it on. That being said, this has been Nolan from Tacticon Armament. Thanks for watching guys. If you wanna see more, let me know down below. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, so that way I can keep doing what I'm doing. Any more comments, questions, concerns, let me know. Thanks again for watching. Sometimes we just need to use what Mother Nature gave us to blend in a little bit better.